Thank you, Mr. President. The matter I raise tonight is for the Minister of Transport, Melissa Horne. <clears throat> in early June, I raise industry concerns over the different standards between the service red book inspections, which is approved by the Commercial Passenger Vehicle Victoria and roadworthy certificates issued by Vic Roads Licensed Vehicle Tester. At the time, I was assured by her office that there are not two standards. However, the industry does not agree, nor do I. During the winter break, a little covert operation was done and a vehicle was taken to both Redbook and a licensed vehicle inspector. Redbook went first. The vehicle obtained a fail from Redbook inspectors. The reason, the front number plate was not visible because of the position of the middle driving light. Uh, we were invited to return within 14 days and the problem rectified to receive a certificate. The same vehicle was then taken to a Vic Roads licensed vehicle tester in Mount Waverley. The vehicle failed because of faulty front brakes, needing new brake pads, also needing to remove and replace the disc rotors and replace the wiper blades and fix the front, uh, the driving light obstructing the front number plates. Redbook couldn't have, couldn't have uh, detected any of these issues with the brakes. Its visual inspection didn't involve putting the car on a hoist and having a look or removing any wheels, nor did it include taking a vehicle for a road test. Commercial passenger vehicle industry knows that the Red Book inspection makes a mockery of Vic Road's roadworthy standards. So I asked the Minister to take immediate action and stop the regulator undermining the government's road safety initiatives and Vic Road standards on licensed roadworthy certificates. <clears throat>